Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien here on the morning of Tuesday, March 14th, 2023. Stand by for commentary. For all Americans, this is the continuation commentary on the banking crisis that's happening to the U.S. right now with the now three banks that have failed. Starting with SVB Bank in California. Uh, and the action that was taken over the weekend. And the regional banks that uh, their stocks yesterday plummeted some 60% like Republican Bank. Uh, yeah, oh boy. And this, the, wow, and I say wow, W-O-W with big letters on the Biden administration's actions over the weekend. Ooh, wow. And this is what happened, Americans. You guys are growling after the 2008 disaster that cost you guys billions of dollars and a lot of people lost their shirts. Some of them lost their lives over that 2008. I mean, I, I lost a lot. My wife lost a lot. Big time. And I, I think that shortened my wife's life by seven or eight years, that 2008 disaster. But uh, the actions that were taken back then were horrible because us taxpayers at the time, <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I was in the middle of a dis disability, trying to get my disability from Social Security, and you guys that try to get disability from Social Security know what you mean, that it's a disaster just trying to get that. Uh, so I wasn't working. I was relying on my wife's income, and she took a beating on her income. Oh, boy. Ooh, bad. Uh, everybody took a beating. But the government gave us a second beating by bailing out the banks. Uh, yeah, and that that's kind of a, uh, you know, like, like you guys taking castor oil on Saturday morning. Yeah, okay. Well, you notice that the Biden administration and Biden himself is getting a million miles away from that word bailout. He doesn't even want to touch that word in this case right now, right? But what did he do? Well... He announced yesterday that, okay, Americans, we are 100% going to uh, secure the deposits, meaning that you guys are guaranteeing 100% of the deposits on SB Bank and the other bank in New York and uh, other banks that come in, uh, in other words. They have to. Because they guaranteed the banks on SBB. So the next banks that came around, say Republic goes under, okay? They can't go and say, okay, we're going to go back to the $250,000 uh, um, uh, FDIC limit. Uh, we have to guarantee 100% of that because we guaranteed it to SBB and why not you? Uh, you see what I mean? And that brings them close to the next dirty word besides bailout, especially for a, uh, what do you call yourselves here, Americans? Capitalistic society? Oh, yeah. And, and by the way, uh, it makes the shareholders of these banks 100% liable for the losses. Ooh, boy. Can you imagine J.P. Morgan in this grave? He'll be saying, what the blank? 100% reliable. Wait, 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 what? This is a capitalistic society here. <laughs> yeah. Because you see, Americans, although he hasn't done it yet, by the actions that the ad administration has done, brings the U.S. closer to that dirty word that comes from a country like me in Panama, that we know that word, nationalize the banking system. Means that the government owns the banks. Well, they haven't done that yet. But this puts them, ooh, right in the foot, in, in the grave with nationalism. Nationalize the banks. Ugh. Uh, I mean, you know, hey, uh, 
You remember Gamal and Darren Nasser back in 1952? I'm nationalizing the Suez Canal. Yeah, Panama never did that, but the Egyptians did, and they nationalized it in 52, which uh, the French and English, boy, they were having a gravy yard with that, same as you guys. You guys got billions out of the Panama Canal, but when you gave it to Panama, well, they weren't your billions. So they weren't the billions for them. Uh, there goes the billions, and now uh, shareholders are in trouble of any bank that you name because of the security. It's telling the people that you're going to secure 100% of your deposits. Uh, wow. You don't know how close that gets to that dirty word, not bailout, but nationalism. <laughs> uh, and you can't walk it back. So what is the Biden administration going to do now? They're in between a rock and a hard place. You guaranteed SVV's 100% uh, security on the thing there. And every bank that comes there, there. And the stocks of the regional banks have gone squeak. What are they going to do today? So we got to watch today the stocks of these regional banks. Uh, because of the disaster you did in 2008, it's compounded by the disaster you're doing now. In the old days, it was capitalism, laissez-faire capitalism. And this is what you guys said you practice. One guy, Mr. Keynes, came up with Keynesian economics. And it's destroyed your United States after you, you adopted the Keynesian, Keynesian economics. You don't understand what I'm saying, Americans, because you don't even know who Mr. Keynes was. He was a crazy guy in the mid-20th century. Woo! Uh, you know, the, from the uh, 30s to the 50s, I believe, Keynes. Oh, boy, was he a strange guy. Uh, Warren Buffett can tell you about him. Yeah, I can assure you Mr. Buffett knows about Mr. Keynes very good there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. So this is the problem, Americans. You went from a disastrous 2008 government handling of the situation, which they don't even want to get near the word bailout, and now they got themselves stuck in the mud again with another word they don't want to even get near to. Nationalize the banking system. <coughs> Oh, boy. Talk about an Iraq in a hard place. That's where the Biden administration finds itself now. Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting. And then the Fed comes in later on this week, and they got up. But do we really want to go 0.5 or 0.75? Because we got the inflation. It's going to go really high now. But if we go 0.25 or 0.05, uh, the inflation is going to go whoopee. And we still got a problem there with the banking system. So you got a no-win scenario. And I call this the Biden administration's Kobayashi Maru. This is your favorite alien. And this is my comment for today. What a mess. Good day. <laughs>